At the time of their meeting, the minutes show Fed officials felt that, uh, that uh, interest rates were now restrictive and, quote, broadly restraining the economy as intended. Caution would be warranted in future rate decisions. But there was disagreement over whether rates were high enough to bring inflation down to their 2 percent target. While the vote to leave rates unchanged in a range of 5 and a quarter to 5 and a half percent was unanimous, other non-voting members of the policy committee apparently disagreed. Almost all participants judged it appropriate to maintain the target rate, the minutes say. A majority of the participants judged that one more increase in the target federal funds rate at a future meeting would likely be appropriate. While some judged it likely, no further increases would be warranted. Supply and demand were coming into better balance, the minutes say, particularly the labor market. Pay increases were slowing, but inflation still remained too high and, quote, a vast majority of participants continued to judge the future path of the economy as highly uncertain. Credit conditions were tightening, energy prices rising, the Chinese economy was slowing, and the U.S. faced a threat of a government shutdown. There were also concerns about the impact of the auto workers' strike and about commercial real estate. Still, all participants agreed that policy should remain restrictive for some time, and several argued the Fed should shift its communications from a focus on how high to raise rates to how long to hold them there. As for the balance sheet, the feeling was they could continue their passive rundown for some time, even after they begin lowering rates. Guys? Not much of a reaction in markets, Mike. You can see 10-year yields still about five basis points lower. The S&P 500 pretty much unchanged since before the minutes came out. And if, when you look through the headlines, uh, this one sticks out. Proceed carefully. It feels like that phrase has appeared many times, and we're seeing it again in these minutes. Should we take that as to mean that this Fed is going to stay on hold for some time here? No, I wouldn't take uh, that to, to mean that. I think it means that there's a kind of a higher bar for a change at this point. They want to make sure that they aren't doing something that's against the economic best interests, given uh, that they are in restrictive territory right now. We'll see what happens with CPI tomorrow, PCE at the end of the month. But as long as there are no surprises, they probably are still uh, looking at not raising rates on November 1st. But that's proceeding carefully.